Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I have purchased some new makeup from the drugstore that I wanted to share with you. Do a couple of little updates. And um, yeah, still no word from Suzanne. Suzanne Summers, still no email. <sighs> frustrating, frustrating. Okay, so I went to Fred Meyer last week and I decided to try this Aquarian Glaze water resistant mascara because they had it in this beautiful navy color. It's called Deep. It's really pretty. Uh, the formula is definitely different from the Stellar Gaze mascara. Uh, this seems to be a little bit drier, um, not as, it doesn't build as much as the Stellar Gaze, but it's still a nice mascara. And I've worn it a couple of times over the black. I put the blue over the black, and then on the bottom I just put the blue. Um, it, it's a subtle navy color. I mean, it's not screaming at you, but it's really nice. And then the only drawback that I have to this Pacifica eyeliner is um, how it sharpens. Now, it could be that my sharpener, which is in there, um, isn't very sharp, but when I first sharpened it, it took, you know, the, the product and the, um, the wood with it. And I think the problem is this gold inlaid um, design on here. I think that's the problem. But once I was able to get it sharpened, it's okay. But you might be able to see how rough that is. So like I say, and I think my sharpener is fairly new, but it could be that it's dull, but it kept grabbing in those lines. So that's a problem. The only drawback I have to it, I love the eyeliner and I'll buy a new sharpener and see if that works. And if not, oh well. I had already gotten this Milani powder blush in Coral Cove. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, really bright, really intense. And I went to Walmart yesterday to get food, get more meat and eggs and stuff because I started the Ducan diet yesterday. So there's the Coral Cove. Really pretty. And they had these other two colors. So this is 08 T Rose and 01 Romantic Rose. So let me swatch these for you. I already took the paper off. Okay, where's the little opening? Okay, so here is the Romantic Rose. It's so pretty. It's not swatching very well. Maybe I need a brush. Hmm. I don't know. All I know is that it really isn't swatching very well using my finger. It's just like it's falling off. I don't really see anything. Well, I'll swatch it with my finger. So there's Romantic Rose. Not to Maybe I should have swatched these on top of a foundation or a base. And this one doesn't want to open. Come on. There. And this is Tea Rose. And let's see. So that's Tea Rose Romantic, no, yeah, Tea Romantic and Coral Cove. So swatching these, these don't swatch very well, but boy, I tell you, when you put them on your face, at least a coral one, you have color. So, hmm, I don't know. You guys tell me your experiences with these if you have them. I'm going to put 
put a little bit of this, I might cheat this one, and just see what happens. I have a clean brush in here. I might. Or maybe not. Oh, this one's clean. This little elf one. So I'll try that. Let's see. Bring up the big old mirror. Oh yeah, I guess it does. And on my eyes, I have my Pacifica palette. I have the... Um, the lightest color here on the lid. And then I blended in this beautiful burgundy into the crease. Really pretty. And then I used um, one of the colors out of my Tartlet palette, one of the highlight colors, to keep it um, that area in a mat. But that is that. And I've decided I'm going to try to use up my um, Naked 3 or Hit Pan, that pan palette challenge that some people are doing. So I'm going to be working with that and my Tartlet palette. Um, and then I got two more of the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stains. They had a bunch of new colors out. And that's what I have on my lips right now. But you have to be careful because they do stain and they stain quickly because I woke up and I I put this on after my workout last night and I had a little bit of color here. I must not have gotten it applied very precisely. So these are two of the new colors they had. Gosh, you know, I should have counted, but I didn't. Um, the one I have on is 161A Made You Pink. And these do stain. And they are the twist up ones. I really like these. They're super glossy, very comfortable. Um, so that is Made You Pink. And this one is Red I Radioactive. Huh. Like radioactive, radioactive. And that's this one. And like I say, they stain. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, God, that's such a pretty bright spring color right here. Right there. Be careful, so I'm going to wipe this off with a tissue, and we'll see. See? It's stained already in that short amount of time. And then the workouts, um, I've talked about this before. Um, I really love Leslie Sansone Walk DVDs, and these are two of her newest ones, the HIP, uh, the High Intensity Interval Training. And um, it's not as intense as I'm sure some of the gym workouts are, but I really, really like these. And I think I got these at Walmart for like 10 or 11 bucks each. Really good workout, 45 minutes, you do about three miles. And I move forward and back pretty much through the whole routine, because otherwise my Fitbit doesn't register um, the movement. Thank you to whoever told me that. Somebody told me that. I don't remember who. But um, but I want to thank Jerry again from Hello Jerry. I'll link her channel below. But she's the one who told me about the Ducan diet. And uh, today is day two. No weight loss. But I did... Um, somebody had told me that you can actually gain weight when you first start working out. Although I have been doing it for a few weeks now. Um, but because of the inflammation and the muscle fibers... It causes you to, it brings fluid, water, healing substances to the muscles, and you can get temporarily an increase in weight. I haven't lost anything yet. I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping I would have dropped a pound, but I haven't. So yesterday I just ate protein products, meat, eggs, that type of thing. No vegetables. It was weird not to eat my salad. But we're approaching 10 minutes, so this stupid camera is probably going to cut off. So... All right, well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And uh, I love all you.